Okay, so now you've got tin foil, your two pen casings, these are going to be your axles. Um, four CDs or DVDs that you don't want to use ever again. And your four pen tips. So now what you want to do is take your hot glue gun and your tin foil and just set the tin foil down and place your CD on the tin foil so the hole in the CD is completely has tin foil completely on the bottom and you want to take your pen casing and try and align it on the center of your CD as much as you can it doesn't have to be perfect but it'll help if it's as centered as possible and now you just want to take your hot glue gun and just drench it with hot glue on the gap in between the pen casing and the CD. So what you'll end up doing is sealing the CD to the pen casing. And the purpose of this tin foil is to keep hot glue from getting on your table. You're just going to end up tearing it off of the CD after the glue dries. Now that these have dried, the next step is to glue the other side down to your other CD. So I've still got this tin foil on here. I'm just going to rip that off. And it's fine if you've still got tin foil covering the hole. Be sure your tin foil's flat so your CDs don't stick up when you're trying to glue them down. Okay, so these two sets of wheels have finished drying, and you'll notice that they're very straight. The wheels don't wobble very much at all, and the axle's really straight, so normally you run into problems on other cars with the wheels not being aligned properly. Um, now what you want to do is pick one of your sets of wheels to be your driver axle. What that means is this is going to be the wheel that you want traction on. So when you start pushing your car, when the mousetrap starts pushing your car, um, it'll be able to get traction on the ground and use all of its energy to move forward instead of spinning out in place. So I'll just pick this one to be my back axle. And I'm going to take this balloon. And what I want to do is make two basically two big rubber bands out of the balloon. So what I'm going to do is grab my scissors and I want to cut the balloon about right here. Right like that. Um, and on the other end as well I want to cut the a bit of the fat end off. Right there. You can open that and you can see that you're left with this thing, this half a balloon, and you want to cut this in half as well because you're going to need to stick one of these on both of your wheels. So you need two of them. Now you've got two, and the way I put them on, this is pretty simple. Um, oh, oops, I forgot to take the tinfoil off of this. Yeah, so to take the tinfoil off of these, you can just 
kind of twist them and pull up and they'll tear off. Okay, so what you want to do is take your balloon and just stick it on your hand like this and open it up. So now that the balloons are on, the wheels have a lot more traction. So you can imagine if you've got a string wrapped around this axle that's going to be pulling it, you're going to get a lot more power out of this than you would wheels that are spinning out. Now the next step in building your axle, take the toothpick and you want to just cut the very tip off. So you want to cut it right about here. And so you're just left with this little pointy piece. And what this is going to be used for is looping your string around the axle. So you can see that there. You want to hot glue the piece of toothpick onto the axle. Right about here. And you want it to you want the pointy end to be sticking off. Like this. So it rotates around and looks like that. And that, that's a little bit much. I'm gonna snip off the end. So it looks like that. Okay, so this is almost finished for the back axle. The only thing left to do for both of these is to take your pen tips right here and just stick them back in the end. So, right in like that. And if you leave the tin foil in, they're gonna fit a little more snugly, which can't hurt. Okay, so right like this. You've got your two pen ends sticking out, and on the next step, we're going to build the frame, and they're just going to sit right in there of the ends of your ink cartridges.